Hello, welcome to Literary Life. Um, so today, today I'm going to be unboxing my bi-monthly health tea book crate box. Um, it's been a while since I unboxed one of these because I got my January one early. They offered it early for the holiday. And I, of course, jumped on that, which was not the smartest thing because I've had to wait like three months before I finally got this one. Um, so this this. Uh, launched I believe last year um, I'll put information in a link with the pricing and everything down below for you to check out but this has just been such a consistently high quality box in the handful I think I've received three thus far and um, basically how it works is there's a new I think it's a new release hardcover book that they always do announce ahead of time so you have the option of skipping if you've already had it and then of course there's a thing of tea and a couple other bookish items but I have just been blown away um, by every box so this is definitely I'm really I, I just have these handful of favorites book subscriptions right now um, and this is definitely one of them so let's get into first the box itself is so beautiful I you can see like the just the decor of it I've, I've just always loved their box and here this one's better I think I was actually I was I was showing you the bottom <laughs> the bottom of the box I was like wait where's all the pretty design um so there it is look how pretty that is I just absolutely love their box all right let's let's get into it so I, I did there we go I say I did slice it all right so let's open it up <laughs> And there we have it right there so it looks like my little usually the the um, your letter is stuck there but it did fall out so I'm gonna grab that and then we will start to dig into what's inside um, so the first thing is um, the theme for March is mindfulness and they give you a write-up on the back with some of the products that are inside so I'm not gonna look at that um, but they tell you ways to be more mindful during the week, journal and self-reflect, set intentions, do yoga and meditate, take a walk, make healthier choices, rid yourself of negativity, breathe and drink hot tea. So that is really awesome. Um, I'm guessing this is going to be the tea inside and they give you a, um, a little bit, a little bit of information about it. So that's really nice. Um, and then, as always, they give you these really cute, like this is normally what would have been um, taped to the lid of the box, these really cute cards that um, thank you for your subscription. So let's take a look. Thank you for joining us this month when unboxing your March crate. Think of ways you can be more mindful during the week. P.S. We've included some tips on the back of this month's detail card, which is the ones I just read to you. So there you go. Isn't that pretty? Like you could almost use this card in a frame, right? That's so pretty. I, I just love it. And then we have a um, little book card and uh, yeah, just talks about um, meet your bundle. Thank you for subscribing and uh, sharing and then you'll you'll get entered in um, to win. If you share, you get entered, in, um, entered to win 10 bucks off your next offer. All right, so let's get into the good stuff here. So first of all, we have a little canister of the tea, leaf and twig, pine, no, fine. I have my glasses on and I still can't read. Fine loose leaf tea, it's 100% organic. This is out of Greensburg, Pennsylvania, and it gives you some brewing instructions. And if I go back to the little card that they had inserted here, um, this has sweet cinnamon, um, holy basil, which I guess is called Tulsi. Um, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that, but if you've seen my other videos, you know that's that's the norm for me. Uh, Shizandra berry and lysi berry. So that's what's in here. That sounds really nice. And what does it do? It's a morning harmony, and it eases the stress on your body, renews your mind, restores spirit, and you just feel refreshed and alert without um, uh, caffeine. <laughs> so there we go. So I'm going to actually open it up and try to help hopefully there you can kind of get a feel for my camera it does not always focus very well but you can see the the leaves oh my gosh it smells really light and fresh I really like that scent um, so you can kind of see I always have a hard time because it's like backward um, but it's a beautiful tea so I'm definitely looking forward to trying that so we're going to put that off to the side and we're going to root around and pull out 
breathe deeply. Um, oil wipes use our 100% biodegradable and sustainable essential oil wipes throughout the day on face, body, and hands. They're cooling, soothing, um, invigorating, stimulating. Use rise or shine at the office, travel, sweaty adventures, glamping or camping in the wild on sore muscles. Okay, I'm traveling this week, so these are going with me. Perfect timing. Um, all right, let's get the next one. This is so much fun. I just love, love, I'm just rooting around the box until I think it's got all the squiggles. So let's see, this is feeling like one of those tests. Oh, oh, beautiful pencils. Look at those pencils. Okay, let's get into this. It's by June and December, um, Fluttery Mix Pencil Terranium. Let's see if I can, there we go. So we have, oh, and they're already sharpened. Thank God. But you can see they've got, um, Oh, well, I kind of figure out a way to get my camera to autofocus. That's so annoying, right? But um, they've got butterflies, all different colors of butterflies. Those are so pretty. So got these in the cute little terrarium. So I'm going to put them over here. And then, wait, I don't want to, that felt bookish, but I don't, okay. Oh, wait, here's, oh, we got more. So there's more of these travel packets. Squiggles, squiggles. Okay, it's actually four. So you get four of these guys. Um, it looks like some beautiful notebook coming out now. <gasps> these are so, look at these. Absolutely love these. I mean, this is like an accessory to your bag, right? When you pull it out, <laughs> it is eye popping. And you get two of them. And the one in back is blue. These are so pretty, and I bet you they'll look so good with your pencils. I do wish they were pens, because I, I can't just carry a pencil. Because um, I would love to have a pretty pen in my bag with these. Um, 64 pages. They're one's blank and one's lined. That's really nice. And look how nice those are. That is a really good, um, and they just, that just goes, how fun is that together? And that's the thing, everything is always aesthetically pleasing, I feel like, that they give you as well as useful, right? Um, so now we're to the book, which I did know was coming. Um, and I have, I just, their books are always so good too. The Care and Feeding of Ravenously hung, Hungry Girls by Anissa Gray. So what is this book about? Oh, and you do get um, signed author plates inside. The Mother's Meet. So what this is, is The Mothers Meet in American Marriage. I have not read The Mothers, but I loved, loved An American Marriage. Um, in this dazzling debut novel about mothers and daughters, identity and family, and how the relationships that sustain you can also be the ones that consume you. The Butler family has had their share of trials as sisters, Althea, Viola, and Lillian can attest, but nothing prepares them for the literal trial that will upend their lives. Althea... My dog, Grayson, he's, anyway, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get him, get him. All right, Althea, the eldest sister and substitute matriarch, is a force to be reckoned with, and her younger sisters have alternatively appreciated and chafed at her strong will. Hey. <laughs> he's so, all right, he's like scratching at the carpet. Normally he gets all curious about what I'm unboxing, right? Not lately. He, he's like burned out on my subscription boxes, which is sad. Okay, so they are as stunned as the rest of the small community when she and her husband Proctor are arrested. And in a heartbeat, the family goes from being one of the most respected in town to utter disgrace. The worst part is not even her sisters are sure exactly what happened. As Althea awaits her fate, Lillian and Viola must come together in the house they grew up in to care for their sister's teenage daughters. What unfolds is a stunning portrait of the heart and core of an American family and a story that is as gripping as it is important. That sounds really good. So here is the author. And her name, Anissa Gray, she's an Emmy Award-winning journalist at CNN Worldwide, responsible for helping to guide coverage of some of the most consequential stories of our time. She began her career at Reuters as a reporter based in New York, covering business news and international finance. She was born in St. Joseph, Michigan. I'm from Michigan. Not St. Joseph, though. Um, she studied English and American literature at New York University. She lives in Atlanta, Georgia with her wife. Okay, so we have... 
Um, and this was her debut novel. So we have this book, just to rehash. We have the two notebooks, one of which is blank and one is lined. The beautiful terrarium pencils. So you get all of that. We got the four packets of these wipes um, with essential oils that I'm going to take with me. And then the little thing of tea. Um, so this was the March box. Uh, so the next box will be March, May. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, that was the other cool thing they announced, is that May is their one-year anniversary. So um, I think the box is going to be a little bit bigger and to celebrate that, so I'm really excited. Um, so if you are thinking about subscribing, definitely I'll have everything below, but go check them out because it sounds like May is going to be quite the month. Um, and again, they'll just, on social media, they'll announce what book will be in the box, so you'll at least know that. Um, and you know what you can kind of look forward to. But other than that, as always, if you have questions, go ahead and post them below. And uh, thank you for watching. Happy reading.